than 24 hours, some high-profile Yinzers are getting soaked. Yeah, inspired by the ice bucket challenge, remember? That took off in the mid-2010s oh, or wow. so. Yeah. yeah, well, the CEO Soak has quickly become one of the most entertaining events of the year for the ALS Association. Mm -hmm. And joining us now are Amber Letters and Christy Marcelli from the ALS uh, Association to tell us all about this. So first, we're going to find out about the association. Tell us about the SOAK first. Yeah. Because this, I mean, really, there are some brave CEOs who decided <laughs> yes. to do this. Yes, in their suits. I mean, <laughs> okay. they really get dressed up. It's a dressed up version of the Ice Bucket Challenge. Yeah. So this is our eighth year doing the CEO SOAK here in Pittsburgh. It was originated in Pittsburgh. Oh, now really? it's a nationwide event. Oh, wow. So in the eight years that we've been doing the CEO SOAK, we've raised over a million dollars just here in Western PA and over two million in the nation. So eight years, and this is also the 10 year anniversary of the Ice Bucket Challenge. So we have a lot to celebrate this year at the show. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. And we're seeing some video there. So do they actually walk through? We have a red carpet. Daisy Jade is our MC. Oh, wow. We're so excited to have her. Um, they'll walk the red carpet, they'll line up, and three, two, one countdown. And when I say they get soaked, they get they soaked. They get soaked. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Uh, so the ALS Association, tell people at home what you all do to help people. Yeah. Well, first, ALS is a neurodegenerative disease. It's always fatal. Uh, once you're diagnosed, you have about two to five years to live. Mm -hmm. um, at the ALS Association, we just try to make people so feel supported mm -hmm. and make them comfortable for as long as possible. We provide all of our services free of charge. Mm -hmm. So we help with equipment. Um, we support the clinics in our area. Mm -hmm. We have two certified centers of excellence in our um, in Western PA alone. And this is a, a really comprehensive approach to care. So mm -hmm. it's a one-stop shop for our patients to come in, see all the doctors that they need to see mm -hmm. in one stop. And so all wow. the doctors are on the same page with their care throughout their whole journey. So right. it's really great. Yeah. Hey, so you just talked about some of the numbers and the amazing amount mm -hmm. of money that you're able to raise through this. How, how big a difference does that kind of fundraising make in helping people in our area? Well, yeah, I mean, it can cost over $2 million, or $200,000, sorry, <laughs> $200,000 a year for a person to live with this disease. So oh the gosh. care, the medications, and who can afford that? So what we do at the ALS Association, again, we provide all of our services for free and we provide resources, guidance, so that they can get the help that they need. We have a three-pronged approach at the ALS Association as well. So we do support the research. We do mm -hmm. global research. Um, we put in about $50 million mm -hmm. currently in ALS research. Since the Ice Bucket Challenge, we put in on over $154 million mm -hmm. in research, wow. which has been wow. incredible. Yeah, that makes a difference. Yeah, it definitely makes a difference. Go ahead. No, I... So I lost my dad to ALS in 2021, so I have been on this journey. And I have to tell you that the ALS Association, from ramping to a smart home devices, mm -hmm. a van, a wheelchair, all provided by the ALS Association free of charge. Mm -hmm. So I cannot tell you how much the association helps those living with ALS. It is such a difficult disease because you watch your loved one in this very short but slow period of time. Right lose themselves to this disease and and having this kind of support just helps because it can be so difficult on the families and the individual Absolutely. going through it. Which is why I now work for the association. Yeah. I, They were so incredible to not only my dad, but also my entire family. So yeah. events like this help the entire community and are just so important when it comes to advocacy, research, and care services. Yeah, yeah it's personal for you. Very. You can tell the passion when you're Christy was actually one of the first people that I met in 2018. So Christy, and I have so much respect for people like Christy that work with the association that don't have a connection because then you are they can, their connection. And right. Just as much, just as much passion right yeah. here. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. So yeah. happy to have you yeah. both here to talk about this. Thanks. Yeah. And what a fun way to raise money. So, what a Especially that we yeah. don't have to get right. into the fountains. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, right. It's fantastic. Yeah, that's even better. <laughs> it's been a nice day for it, though. It's plenty warm out there. Absolutely. Pittsburgh will celebrate its eighth CEO soak tomorrow, Thursday, August eighth at four p.m. at PPG Place Fountain. Yeah, the event will help ALS, the association, get one step closer to reaching its goal, making ALS livable for everyone everywhere until a cure is found. And we have more info on all of this on our website, pittsburghtodaylive.com.